Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's my day off today because I've been editing all this week and I really wanted to take a break. It's just a regular weekday in my life and I'm just heading out to do just the usual stuff and I thought I'll take you along and also I'll show you my city here in Oakville. But first, I need to get my caffeine fix from my favorite cafe in Oakville. So let's go. We have reached for a change. We are not in downtown Toronto, but in my own city, downtown Oakville. This honk app comes in really handy when you have to pay for your parking. And we're good. Let's find a coffee shop. The one that I really like is Tribeca Coffee, but that's closed today. So I have to search for a new one. The place that I'm going today is Pilot Coffee Roasters. I've actually never tried their coffee, but let's do it today. And then we'll go to the lake shore. Can I get a cappuccino, please? Oh, I just saw this place, Cineholic. This has gourmet cinnamon rolls. I'm really tempted to try them. Should I? I think, let's do it. Now let's find a way to go to the lake shore and then we leave this. Downtown Oakville is really pretty. I really love this city, but there's something that I want to share with you. Let's just sit and talk. Let's go towards the lake. Guys, the houses here in South Oakville are so expensive. What do they do? I just keep on wondering. Whoa, is this for real? Look at this purple tree, guys. Beautiful. I'm so happy summer is finally here. Let's go towards the lake. This place always feels unreal. Wow. Welcome to the lakeshore in Oakville. This looks beautiful. And I also got a nice spot to sit right here. I'm gonna enjoy my cinnamon roll with this nice view and also share something really important. And it has really messed up my mind. But first, let's see how the cinnamon roll is. Whoa, this looks really heavy. I don't think I can finish this by myself. Also, this was expensive. I paid like 10 or $11. It's good, but it's too heavy. I need someone to share this with me. I really wish I could give you a bite right now. I feel it's too sweet for me. Like if you're having it alone, I wouldn't recommend it. You need someone to share this with. But it's okay. It's worth a try. And now let's talk about what I've been feeling since a couple of days. If you live in Canada, we're all dealing with a big inflation right now. Everything has gone so expensive, especially with the interest rates hike and everything. Our mortgage and stuff, it just getting worse and worse and worse. No one is really talking about all of this stuff and I haven't either but today I really want to speak from my heart. <sighs> Since a couple of days Saranj and me we are like very stressed about the things that are going on. When the interest rates started to increase we were like okay it's fine. Then it increased again we were like okay another one but then it increased again and again and again and now it has increased so much that we are not even saving a penny. Actually let me start from the beginning. When we first decided to buy this house, we did all the calculations and everything. And that time, it was pretty okay. We were like, okay, we can afford a house. So we did that. But now it has reached to a level where our entire income is literally going in the mortgage, which sucks. We are kind of in a dilemma where we don't know what to do. We have been thinking about doing extreme things, but not sure if that is a wise decision. So I would actually need your help in that. And you know, the mortgage has increased so much that we're just covering our interest. Nothing is going in our principal amount. It's not a good feeling. By the way, we are on a variable rate. So yeah, our monthly expenses have increased. When you're working so hard and earning a decent amount of money, but the major portion of your income is going towards the mortgage where you're not even covering your principal amount you're not even building equity it's like just living on a rent there's no point if you're not even saving a penny just to be under a roof it's okay for some time but eventually like you know you want to grow your family you want to save some money we can't just be like paycheck to paycheck forever right it just doesn't feel sustainable so me and Saranj we were thinking to maybe move elsewhere I know it's an extreme step considering we just bought this house like a year back and it's not a happy feeling 
I don't want to leave this beautiful city. I really, really love Oakville and I really love my house. But thinking about the future, it's, I don't know. So, yeah, coming back, we were thinking to probably move to Calgary. <laughs> I know, I know. It's too extreme moving from Ontario to Alberta. It's a huge step, but yeah, we have been thinking about it. Not saying we are moving, we have just thought about it. But we are so unsure of it because of the extreme weather conditions there. And also a lot of people say that it's very, very laid back. It's too boring. There's nothing much to do in that city. Although houses are cheaper than the GTA, of course. But apart from that, there's not much to do there. I honestly hate winter. Like even being here in Toronto, I hate winter. And I don't know if I want to go in like extreme winter. But if you keep all that aside, but just look at the house prices, it's half of what you get in GTA. And if we sell this house, we can literally be not mortgage free, but we'll have so little mortgage that we'll be able to do so much more and save and grow our family and this and that. But we are not sure. Honestly, if you ask me, I don't want to move from here. I love this place, but the situation is like that where I feel it might be a good step. So guys, what do you think about it? Do you think it would be a wise decision to leave, to sell a house here in Oakville and move to Calgary? We also considered uh, the east end of Toronto, by the way, where Whitby, Oshawa is. But I don't know if that would really make a lot of difference because even there it's like expensive again. Nothing would come under a million <laughs> there too. So yeah, this is the situation right now. A very difficult situation <laughs> that we are in. And I'm sure a lot of people are in this situation who live in Canada. And we can just hope for the interest rates to come down. But you know what? This morning I read a news where they said the Bank of Canada might increase the interest rates again in June, which sucks because the inflation is not coming under control. I don't know if that happens. Where will we go? Also with Calgary, the most important thing we are not sure about is the jobs. And that is one very important thing to consider, right? We have heard that there are not a lot of job opportunities there as compared to Toronto or Vancouver because obviously these are bigger cities and there are more opportunities here but Calgary is like so dependent on oil and gas so things are just like okay there and I've also heard from people that you can find a job but you have to like stick to your job for a good amount of years it's difficult to just like change go here and there you know because of less opportunities but again I don't want to leave this place I love staying close to like bigger cities I like the hustle and bustle I'm not a person who likes a very slow laid-back life so yeah that's what we're thinking guys not saying that we are moving but that thought just came across our mind and I would love to know your thoughts. What do you guys think about it? If that would be a good decision. And I'm sure the comment section will help a lot of people who are also going through this confusion. And let's just hope for the best. I really hope the interest rates come down so that we can just stay here in our beautiful house in this beautiful city. Now let's just finish our remaining tasks. And also, do you want me to do a tour of downtown Oakville? There are tons of restaurants and cafes around here and high-end boutique stores. They're too expensive. The downtown here is spectacular. Do you want me to do a tour of this? Let me know in the comment section below. And now the next stop is I have to go buy a couple of things, a pan, something from Winners. So let's go and do that. Oh, and one last thing which I forgot to mention is the only way to possibly survive here with this inflation is that you stop doing everything. Like literally don't go out of your house, don't eat out, don't shop at all, like not even a single thing. Just don't do anything. That's not possible, right? Why do you work so hard then that you cannot even live your life? It doesn't make sense to me at all. I know a lot of people do sacrifices like that. There are people who have moved to this country but they're not able to really live their life because of these huge expenses and even with us like we have made our sacrifices in our own way maybe you just see me a lot like going outside traveling and this and that but that's also my work right so yeah again this work is expensive too but I love doing that and I don't mind obviously investing in my work that's okay but Again, yeah, I don't want to like stop living my life, you know, just to take care of all of these expenses. I mean, nobody should. What's the point? You only get one life. You work your ass off the entire day, Monday to Friday. And then you're away from your family. 
you're making all those sacrifices and for what just to be inside your house and do nothing where will the motivation come from you won't even have anything to look forward to in life i will feel miserable if i have to do that and i'm sure you will too that's why <laughs> this confusion guys so i don't want to hear from anyone saying yeah just don't spend this and that i mean yes right now it's a difficult time and i have been controlling my expenses in some way or the other where i can but i really don't know you get my point right and the next spot is canadian tire oh guys it's going to rain i don't know if i'll be able to do everything today but let's see i really need a pan so i've reached canadian tire i'll show you a really nice pan if you want to buy only if i get it here i actually have one but i need a second one so let's go and see if we find it Pans, pans, where are the pans? Here are the pans. Uh, I really hope it's on deal. It's this one. And yes, it's on deal. It's the pan from Tefal. This is actually for $100, but today it's for only $30. Always buy it on deal at Canadian Tire. Oops, this is a bigger size. I need to get the smaller size. In fact, this is big too, and this is just for nineteen ninety nine, twenty dollars. And originally, this is for seventy nine, eighty dollars, and I'm getting it for twenty. Let's return some packages from Amazon. I do it at Shoppers. Very convenient. Oh, by the way, these deodorants. I did a review on them recently. They're really good. Would highly recommend it. And now to everyone's favorite store, Vinners Home Sands. I actually came here to buy some bralettes, but they don't have anything today. Whenever I want to buy something, they just don't have the stock. And whenever I just come for a round, they have everything. Does that happen to you? This is nice, but this is large. I need something in medium. This is nice. Size small. This is nice, but I don't know about the net. It might not be that comfortable to wear for like every day. Even the stock at Home Sense is not good. They should always come when they stock up things, which are I think Thursdays. Otherwise, it gets sold out pretty quickly. And today it's like completely empty. The day I want to like shop something, not a good day. Never mind. Next time. Oh, it started drizzling. Time to go back home, and. Yeah, that's it for today. I really hope you liked today's vlog. I spent a really good time at downtown Oakville and it was good chatting with you about the things I'm feeling and I'll see you next time. Till then, take care and I really love you guys. Thank you for listening to me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Uh it's too far. It's too far. Okay. Bye.